Hi guys. I've kind of pre prepped a little bit, not much this time. On this little panel here, I embossed this little this little Santa guy. He's kind of stuck in the chimney. And I went ahead and took um, post-it tape and kind of masked roughly, masked off a few areas because I want to ink blend some night sky on here. The card base that I'm using is a standard A2 size. It's four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. I used this shimmery cardstock that I have. Then I have two mats that go on the outside on underneath this one. The first one is cut at four and an eighth by five and a quarter. The second one's cut at four by four and three quarter. And then our little stuck Santa will go on there. And then I'll probably put one on the inside. I haven't decided yet. This little guy is cut at three and seven eighths by four and a half. I'm probably, well, I know I'm going to shave some off of the four and a half. I might shave some off of the sides. I haven't decided yet. But more than likely. The three distress inks I'm using are the same ones that I always use for any kind of sky. So this one is shaded lilac, and yes, it works good on a sky. This one is chipped sapphire, and then around the edges, stop that, around the edges I'll use black soot, and then I'll use my gel pen to put some stars in. But I created a round mask to create like a full moon, so I'm hoping this will go well. We're about to find out. I haven't tried it at all. Going around this guy is what's going to be hard. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And I probably won't make you guys watch all of this. Just because. I mean, you probably have better things to do with your time than watch an hour-long video. I don't like this post-it tape because it doesn't stay down very well. But I have it and I need to use it. What in the world? Come out of there. What is the deal? I have one of my dog's hairs on there. That has to go. Alright, so here's what I did. I went ahead and did some ink blending, like I said I was going to do to create a night sky. Then I decided that I had had areas of this guy that 
I either didn't get enough ink or got too much ink. So I took my gel pens, these guys here by American Crafts, and colored the little image. And then I used my Signo pen to kind of go over the snowy areas. And then I also just outlined the entire thing with the Signo white. So, I'll put some stars on there after I do a sentiment. Now, go with me here. I have this little stamp set. Let me get it out of this packaging that I keep it in. That I got. That's a Gerda Steiner. My family knows I'm a bit of a wise guy and I like to kind of have fun and I see different ways to have fun. So like this little guy, I kind of look at it and I can hear him going, seriously? <laughs> Help? 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 <laughs> That's what I hear in my head. So my family will find this amusing. Now back to the Gerda Steiner stamp set that I'm making reference to. If you remember, I got these moody unicorns. Right here it says, seriously? With a question mark. So I'm going to stamp that out on white. And I'm going to put it up here at the top. And then on little white pieces. That I'll probably have to trim down. And I might back them on something. I did help, help, and help with a question mark and exclamation points. That I'll put off over here on the side. Kind of offset like that. I think it'll be fun. And then on the inside, because I'm not a big fan of my own handwriting. I'm just not. But on the inside, I'm going to put he, 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 and then I'll stamp Merry Christmas in there. So I need to stamp this seriously. I think it's going to be cute once it's all put together. Come on. Alright, there it is. Stamp block. And I don't know if you guys are that way with your family, but me and my family kind of goof off a lot. We're serious when we need to be. But on stuff like this, it just does not have to always be serious. You know? Cute. That's good. Alright, now we can put this guy together. Get this stuff out of the way. This panel ended up being three and three quarter by Four and a half.
crab fingers out from under it. My dog is directly under my feet right now. Silly boy. And why he's there, I don't know. It's not a typical place for him to lay. He's just being goofy. I think... pop that one up, I think. And I think I want to pop up a few of the, well, maybe one of the helps and the seriously. That sounds so silly. One help and one seriously. Now I need some adhesive, some foam things. That's a real technical term, isn't it? I need foam things. Foam squares, that's the word I was looking for. No. Probably be easier if I used my pokey tool. Why do the easy thing? Jeez. Right, so now on the inside, since I've already cut this guy, I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to four by five and a quarter. That's not stuck right there either. This glitter paper here actually came out of um, a paper pad that I bought in the tar Target dollar spot for Valentine's. White, white, white. There we go. I'll cut this down to three and three quarter by five. Um, this is a rubber stamp that was on a wood block, but I took it off the wood block because I didn't want it on there, and it came from 
Hobby Lobby like three years ago, but the last two years they have had this same stamp. Oh, tell me I didn't just wiggle this. It's crooked. Good grief. That's better. And then I also have a holly stamp. Holly and holly berry. That sounds so weird. Holly leaves and holly berries. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to use it down in the corner. Since I have this guy out. I forget to use these all the time too. And when I remove these rubber stamps from their wood blocks, I store them in travel baby wipe containers. That's what I found works best for me.
Oops. All right, so here we go. What do you guys think? I think he turned out kind of cute. And a thing. This wasn't even a Christmas stamp set. I think it turned out cute. I'm not going to close it all the way because it still needs to dry. So I'm going to let it do that. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me, guys. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.